Hi, I'm Ron Mercer. I'm the lead developer for the Mobile Devices SDK. I would like to talk to you today about writing applications using our SDK with a special focus on the options and features available on our new EP10. For those of you who are new to developing on our devices, you need to know that the SDK is available free of charge for download on ingenuityworking.com. All you need to do is, is hover over the Downloads menu, select a developer SDK HDK link, then select the mobile devices SDK link and look for the latest mobile devices SDK release. An application written using the mobile devices SDK can run on all of Scion devices. The purpose of the SDK is to augment the standard Microsoft SDK by providing support for our custom hardware. For example, we provide APIs for WAN, WLAN, scanners and imagers, camera, keyboard, and all other unique modules that we provide. Your applications can be written in .NET, Java, C++, and we've recently added a C API for added flexibility. Also with release of 5.2, we've allowed you to download the source code for the SDK. This gives you visibility on how we control our hardware and allows you to optimize your applications in ways that were not possible before. Specifically for the EP10, we've added support for new environmental sensors. They are the ambient light sensor, the proximity sensor, the accelerometer, the gyroscope, and the compass. The support for the sensors is available as of release 5.2 of the SDK. The sensor data is available in either synchronous or asynchronous methods in typical industry format. This makes development of new applications or porting of existing applications much easier and more straightforward. With these new APIs available on the EP10, we've been able to implement some useful new features. For example, using the accelerometer, we're able to give you auto screen rotation. This feature is adjustable either through the control panel or via API calls in the SDK. Another feature is auto backlight adjustment. If I cover the sensor to simulate a dark room, the screen automatically goes dark. If I uncover it, the screen brightens up again. These are just a couple of the examples of what we have implemented so far for the EP10 using the SDK. We are working on a lot more, so please stay tuned. If you have any questions or would like to find more information, please visit us at ingenuityworking.com. Thank you for watching.